Hi, y'all. Yes, I have white gloves on. I'll explain to you in a minute why. Um, I haven't done a video in a few days. I believe this is Tuesday, and I think the last time I did a video was either Thursday or Friday of last week. And the last time I was doing resin, I was trying to uh, finish an order, and I ran out of gloves. So I just took the gloves I had in my drawer. Uh, they weren't nitrile, but they were just a pair of cheap gloves. And I didn't think anything about it, and uh, I proceeded to finish my resin pieces. And a few hours later, my hands were on fire. They were swollen. I couldn't bend my fingers. Um, I had a chemical burn all over the tips of my fingers and all over the front sides of both of my hands. The resin evidently can seep through cheaper gloves. Uh, <clears throat> I'm just telling you all this, so maybe it won't happen to you. Um, I've always been very careful about wearing my PPE, and I've always wore uh, vinyl, vinyl nitrile gloves, um, but I ran out of them. But I had some that I uh, wore when I first started. <clears throat> But just because it doesn't happen once doesn't mean that it won't happen the second time around. So, um, I'm on the bend. Uh, I've been to the doctor twice. Uh, the first time they gave me a steroid shot. They gave me steroid ointment to put on, and I took steroids for a couple of days. Uh, I went back today, and... Uh, I am uh, putting another ointment on my hands, um, and I am wearing gloves. Um, they look 100% better. I can make a fist, which is a good thing. <clears throat> they are still uh, very, uh, uh, I don't know what to call it. Um, the doctor explained to me that I burned the first layer of my skin. So if you can imagine, when it starts healing, it actually looks a little bit worse than it did in the beginning uh, because the skin is now starting to uh, uh, dry out and split and peel. Um, and she told me that it would probably be about a month or so before uh, uh, they were totally healed. So... <clears throat> But, she didn't tell me that I had to stop using resin. Uh, she just, I, I know now that if I run out of good gloves, I stop. I don't care if I, I midstream, um, I don't touch it without the, the good gloves on my hands anymore. Um, and um, I did order some more gloves, and I will be showing you those in just a minute. But before we get started, I want to say hello. My name is Beth. For all of y'all that have never been here before, I'm so glad you're here. And for all of y'all that uh, have been here before or my subscribers, thank you so much for coming back. I have missed doing this. I have missed doing crafts. Um, my house is the cleanest it's been in, in months because I'm not a person to sit around and do it, nothing. So, uh... I've been outside sweeping my front porch and cleaning my back porch and clean, <laughs> cleaning stuff in my house that I probably ignored because of all my crafting. But um, I do plan on getting back into the resin in a couple of days. <clears throat> but I have a Timu haul, and so I thought I'd share that. This came in a couple of days ago, and I did open it. It's just a couple of things, but I'll show those to you. I also got a gift from a friend of mine um, that's also a YouTuber, and uh, I will share that with you. But the first thing I want to do is, these came in today, 
and these are what I'm going to be wearing from now on. These are 8 mil. They're industrial strength. They're nitrile. Uh, they just came in. They're maximum strength. They're a heavy duty. And yes, they are a little bit more expensive. And yes, I can put them on. See, I have the white gloves. But I can put them on right over the white gloves. And this is what I will be doing for a while. Um, that way, this material, even though it's, it's vinyl, and it is, uh, it's powdered free. Uh, but I am going to do that. But the thing, the good thing about this is there, it's a, a grippy uh, material. It's not smooth. And so I was told that this would be the best one to, to get by somebody in the industry. And so that's what I'm going to be using from now on. And they do fit good. And, and they fit right over uh, my other gloves. And so if y'all would like the link to these, I'd be more than happy to give them to you. Just let me know in the comments and um, I'll uh, reply with the link for y'all. And I'm going to go ahead and get started with this. I hope you can see this. I am upstairs. I am not downstairs. Um... <clears throat> All of y'all that watch me uh, on a regular basis knows who Rose is. Uh, you hear me talk about Rose all the time. <laughs> she made me this tumbler, which I absolutely love. Um, but she, uh, and, and we talk all the time. Um, and she was telling me some of the stuff she got from Hobby Lobby. And she had told me that she had gotten this uh, artist palette. From Hobby Lobby, Hobby Lobby, it was a, a like an ornament, and I thought, oh, I would love to do that. I would love to make a mold out of that because I have a family uh, of artists, and and my son and his wife Kelly and their two children are very, very, very talented. And um, my first thought was, oh, I would love to to make them an ornament and send that to them for Christmas. Bless her heart. And, and now she's she's constantly doing things like this. I mean, she made me racks for the the Timu uh, care machine. She made her racks. She made me racks and sent them to me. Um, she uh, made her some cup holders. And while she was doing it, she made me some cup holders and sent them to me. And I don't know what in the world I would do without those cup holders now. I can't imagine not having it. I mean, they are, they are just wonderful. But I opened up the mail a couple of days ago. <clears throat> and this is what I opened up. I, I would just show you. Let me see if I can get it back in the way it was. And I knew. Now, this, this is a mold. She made a mold. And I knew as soon as I saw that what she did. But she, she not only sent me the mold. But she sent me the piece she made the mold from. There's the mold. And I hope you all can see that. This is not the best lighting. And my camera does not see. Uh, you're not going to be able to see that. The detail. It's not picking it up and I don't know why. It's really light. I don't know. I even look like a ghost in this camera. Um, hold on a minute. I'm going to see if I can adjust the light. So. I know how to do it down. Oh, now it's too dark, I think. Yeah, you're not, you're not going to see it. Okay, here we go. Let's, let's, I'm walking. Because I want you to see this mold. 
I'm walking over to the light. Yeah, you can see it a lot better there. The detail is just really, really cool. I'm going to move my camera over here and see if you can't see things better over here. Can you see it better over here? The light's better over here. Can you see me better? Oh my gosh, yes. Okay. We're changing things up. I'm coming over by. <laughs> hey! I'm coming over by my sink. We're going to change this up because I want you to be able to see this stuff. Just do it this way. I don't even know if you got to see the gloves, so I'm going to show you the gloves again because the lighting is much better. I'm sorry. Just be a little bit. I oh, know you're looking at my gloved hands. Okay. There you go. Now you can see the detail. You see the texture on those? And that's that. I just thought it was so cool. But then she sent me this glitter. Now, I've wanted to try this, and I do have it on my Amazon wish list, but I've never gotten it before. Um, and I did not realize this was the, the glitter that, bear with me, because I'm trying to do this with gloves. Um, I did not know this was the glitter that a lot of uh, car places uh, paints uses in their paints to paint cars with and evidently uh, it's got a higher uh, sparkle and this is called Hemway it's made by Hemway I'm trying to get it out of the package and I'm telling you the sparkle on that I hope you can see it I mean, it just glistens. And it's Hemway. And this is blue turquoise is the color of this one. And this is... Holographic, Hemway, these are auto flakes, okay, these are Hemway auto flakes, this is what they use to paint cars in. Rose sent me this, and this is gray holographic, I hope you can see the, the shimmer and the shine in that, because that's just incredible. And then this is the white iridescent. I can't wait to use this. As soon as I got it, I wanted to run downstairs and do this. But of course, I, I, I couldn't. Uh, I hadn't been back to the doctor. And I wanted to make sure that... And you're still not picking up the... This is, this is just gorgeous color. But you're not picking up the... The sparkly part of it is much. And this is gold, silver. And this is all Hemway glitter. But I can't wait to use this because it's absolutely gorgeous. I'm putting it back 
back in the bag because it is coming out a little bit. Oh, look at my gloves. It is coming out a little bit. I can see it on my sink. <laughs> Just okay. Yeah, when you watch my videos, you can get real life in them. That's for sure. Some people are okay with it. Some people aren't, and I'm okay with that too. Uh, and I've already told her how much I love this. Um, but yes, it's, uh, I'm excited uh, about being able to uh, do a few of these for Christmas gifts. And the glitter, I'm really excited about being able to use. This, uh, I've showed you these before, but I ordered more in different colors because I absolutely love these. I got these off of Timu. And they are the mica powders in the stick. And you're going to have to bear with me because i trying to take anything apart with these gloves on. Or almost impossible. And I, <laughs> I had to uh, put hot glue on the... <laughs> on the tip of uh, some of them so I could use my phone because of course I can use my phone because the gloves would just slide. It's these right here. And I'll open them. I got different colors. I got every color they had. And um, there's only, I've only got three of them up here. The other ones, uh, of course, the ones I've already had. But that's a red. And that's the way they look. But the mic is in the top. Not down here. It's in the top. Now, I don't know how long these last, but I've used mine several times, and they still keep coming. So, um... Uh, let me get my glasses on and see if it... These don't have a number. Uh, these just have a number. They don't have a color. That's a blue, though. And then I got a silver. Those are the only three that has come in so far. Now, downstairs, I've, I've had a violet. I've had a, a, a gold and a yellow. Uh, but what's coming in is I'm getting more, uh, I'm getting a black, I'm getting a copper, um, a couple of different blues, uh, a yellow, oh, I don't know what all. Uh, I think I ordered like 15 different colors, and so those will be coming in soon. Now, this is not all crafts, but I'm going to show you everything anyway. This I got, Now I have bukus of earring molds, I do. But when I did that gift set from uh, Tea Expert, and I did those earrings, I loved doing that. I did. I had so much fun with that. So, I ordered some odd-looking shapes. And I thought, those would be fun. Those would be fun for... Uh, funky earrings or putting, you know, making pendants or even putting in different things. Because look at those. Look at those shapes. Those are just really cool. And this was like 89 cents. So, uh, okay, which one is this? does not say. This is a butterfly. I 
I'll open it so you can see it better. Because I don't think you're going to be able to see it really good. I have scissors for this, so. I'm trying to make out what this is. I know it's flowers over it. Oh, it's the angel. It's the butterfly with the, the angel over here. You see the wings? And that's the face. And see the little star? Yeah, that's the butterfly with the angel in it. And I don't know what this is. Oh, this is the snowman. Which you, re you really can't tell anything, but I'll open it up. It's a snowman uh, jar. That's the hat. I don't know where the face is supposed to be, though. That's a little odd looking. I don't know. That's a little odd. It's like the head's missing. Or the top part's missing. Because there's nothing. I'm turning it inside out so I can see. Because that's an odd looking. Um, maybe we're just not seeing the detail. Oh yeah, okay. You see, there's the eye. That I, I wasn't seeing the eyes or anything. But they're there. And there's the buttons. Okay. And the scarf. So... I actually have a craft show coming up this Sunday. Uh, it's at a place called the Thirsty Goat. Uh, it's a coffee and uh, <clears throat> eatery place. Uh, it's like an artisan, you know, type um, place. And uh, they only had spots for like 30 vendors. But it was free. And I was so excited about doing it. Because I, I like those kind of places anyway. Um, and I don't really expect to be really busy. But I was blown away when I got an email today saying they were so excited. You know, and um, they were going to have 30 vendors this year. This is not the first time. I think they did it last year too. <clears throat> but they're actually giving us coffee in the morning. And they're feeding us lunch. That just blew me away. I've never, ever had any event place to do that. So that just, that was just really cool. So if y'all are in, around the area, and if you're, you're uh, familiar with the Pleasant View area, the place is called the Thirsty Goat. Uh, and they're located in Highway 41A uh, between Pleasant View and Clarksville. And, um, so if you get a chance, you, you wanna you may want to go in and try them out. Um, and uh, the craft show is on Sunday, this coming Sunday. But okay, and I got a couple more of those necklaces. I love Timu's necklaces. I have bought many many of them, and and I have not been disappointed with any of them. And these I bought, I'm going to open them up so you can see them. Oh, you can't really see them good. They're little, they're little flowers. Let me do this and see if you can see them better this way. Don't look at my dirty pot in the sink. <laughs> uh, I don't know if you can see them better this way or not. I made cracked chicken tonight. And for all of y'all, if you don't know what cracked chicken is, now we're on low carb. 
I am going to move my dirty pot so you don't have to look at it. Uh, I hope y'all can see those. Those are just like little fillers, but they're little flowers. Uh, <clears throat> I went and got rotisserie chickens because I didn't want to cook the, the chicken. And uh, I shredded every piece of meat off the, the rotisserie chicken. And then I cook it with a sugar-free barbecue sauce that we get that is really, really good. And um, you don't put a whole lot. I put one jar of the barbecue sauce to two rotisserie chickens. And then when you get that cooked in there really good, you take a whole pack of uh, cream cheese and you put that in there and you cook it down and then you transfer it to a skillet and get most of the moisture out of it and then you add crumbled up bacon to it oh my gosh it's a low carb meal it tastes so so good and i made what they call wonder bread shuffles which is like a no carb bread uh for the bun and it was so so good um, Okay, here is another one. I think I got three, three of these. And these are like little red, and I don't think you're gonna be able to see them, but I'll hold them up. They're like little pink and peachy uh, roses with their green leaves. And they keep falling that way. Oh, and here's some more <clears throat> of the earring molds. I just think those are cool. A little bit. Oh, I got another one of those. This is not very comfortable sitting here. Oh, these are little daisies. Can you see those? I thought those were adorable. Oh, I got the little Pac-Man earrings. Those are going to be little stud earrings. I thought those were so cute. And here's some more of those necklaces. This is finer. I've got one that I've been wearing. Of course, I don't, you know, I'll wear it and then take it off. And um, I don't wear it every day. But it has not even started to turn on me. The, the chain looks as good as it did the, the first day I started wearing it. These I'm excited to try. Now, I've never tried these, and you may look at these and say, what in the world's going on with the ends of the brushes? Can you see the ends of the brushes? You see how they're shaped? And they're cut that way. They're made that way. And they're under nail. They're under the nail art stuff. But I'm going to have fun playing around with those. And then, I don't know if y'all want to see my nails or not, but yep, I got a bunch of nails. Which ones are these? Those are just like the uh, uh, French manicure ones. Not showing up real good. I think it showed up better when I did it this way. So hold up, y'all. I think the light has something to do with it. 
Yep. Okay. Yeah. Okay, you can see that a little bit better, I think. Yeah, you can see the, the way the brushes are cut better now. Okay. I got a bunch of nails. I didn't get these. They sent me the wrong nails. Those are ugly. I did not order those nails. They look weird. Ooh, those are pretty. Now, I do like those. There's still a glare. Okay. These are my favorite ones. I really like those. And they're all the way through here. I got big pieces. Of... That's the same ones. I think I got two or three boxes of those. Oh, wow. Oh, these are some really... <laughs> uh, I won't ever wear these. I might, I might wear them just once just to do a YouTube video with <laughs> Yeah. They are way too long. And then these are some more different shaped molds. They can be for earrings. They can be for pendants. They can be for key rings. They can be for inserts and, and different stuff. It's just different type of shapes. That's the mitten one that I thought I was getting that I did not get the one time before. You cannot see this. This is not this is not as good up here as it is downstairs. Or maybe it's because I take everything out of the package downstairs. There you go. I'll just stand up. Maybe that's the key to all this. If I stand up, can you see the nails better? No, I don't think so. I got some dragonflies. There, you can see him now. <clears throat> and I got this. And I will open this up and show you what all comes in this. And I got this to use in resin. And a couple other crafts. That I'll probably use. It's the uh, nail. I'll probably use that for my nails, but these are dotting tools, but these are good to use for resin too. 
the the end, the balls. And then the brushes. I like the fact that there is different size tips. Then these are double ended brushes. That's one end. And that's the finer points on that end. See them better that way. I don't know. I don't know. I'm trying, oh, you don't want to see my hair. I'm trying to. I don't know what to. No. It's just not going to show up. Your little fine, very, very fine brushes on that end. And here's some more really fine. And then that's a pack of different type brushes. And I think I paid like six dollars for all of them together, which I thought was a really good price. Okay, I'm not sure what this is. It's in a envelope. Yes, I do. Okay. These are stickers, but they're not in a bag. That's sort of odd, isn't it? They're not in a bag. They're just in an envelope. Oh, but these are so cute. Look at that. These are heat transfers. And there's no backing on this. Ah, oh, this is not a good way to ship something, y'all. That's that one. I love the designs, though. But I don't like the fact that there's no backing on any of this. Can you see it better on the black? Oh, this is cute. Oh, they're sticky on the back. I like this one a lot. Cozy and comfort. That one's pretty cute too. I like this one too. Autumn hikes. I'm literally sweating. It's because I'm up 
underneath this fluorescent light. This is how it came. Not in any package, just stuck in this envelope. So I'm not quite sure if I'm real pleased with that, but... And here's some more nails. Nothing exciting. Oh, yes, lovely. I got another folded mold here. Look at that fold. Right down the center. Look at that. Mm-mm-mm. We shall see. I sent Eva that butterfly. Uh, the last one that I did on my last video. I sent that to my sister-in-law. Everybody loved that. And I did too. Uh, that was one of my favorite pieces that I've done. I hope that comes up. <clears throat> oh goodness, more fingernails. These are not the ones that I ordered though. I did not get the ones that I ordered. That's weird. I guess they just send you it. Because there's no way I would have ever ordered those. That's just not. <laughs> These I did order. I, I ordered three of those. Another pair of stud. <clears throat> Can't you see these? It's like the Pac-Man showed up really good when I came over here. Okay, now I guess it's just the angle. Oh, that's a brush. Okay, I got that. That's odd looking. It's a brush. It's a makeup brush. I thought it was going to be one of those really big ones. And I got that thinking maybe I could use it to brush my molds out with, you know. It's soft. I paid a dollar and 27 cents for this one. That might work. We will see. And this is some more flowers. They're the same one, so I'm going to show you that. Another Pac Man. Post earring set. And some more really, I see, I love this one because that's got the little thing, you know, for the earrings. But look at some of those shapes on here. See, I like the odd. I am not one that likes the cookie cutter, the everyday normal stuff. I'm just not. And those, I just love the shapes of this. And that's the reason why I got it. I mean, I can see those. Those could be gorgeous. Those look like geodes to me. The way they're shaped. And look at those shapes. I mean, you could do so much with those. <clears throat> and this is more stickers. And it's called Romantic Cafe. And I don't know if I can get these open. Okay, I'm going to take my glove off. And my hands look so much better. And I'll show them to you. I don't know if you can see them. And you may not even be able to pick up what 
Uh, they look so, so much better, but they're crusting over. Now, they're coated with a bunch of lotion on there right now. Um, but I feel like I have um, stuff on my fingers, like a coating. And I asked the doctor about that, and she said, yeah, it's going to feel funny uh, for a while. And that's those. And I don't know. See if you can see the tips. But they look 100% better. They really do. Uh, but this one is really, this hand right here is really crusting over. And it's on the side of my finger. I took my glove off so I could open this. And they're still very, very tender to the touch. Uh, so please y'all uh, you know I, I I hear people talk about all the time how they uh, don't wear gloves when they work with resin and I watch YouTube videos of people I just dropped all the stickers if you're wondering what's happening um, and I've watched YouTube videos where people are, are doing shorts or they're doing uh, their whole videos. Oh, my hair. Uh, <laughs> and they're, they're not wearing gloves. And, you know, it, it's your hands. But I would hate for anybody to uh, wind up with the burns I had on my hand. It's not fun. I thought these were cute. my glove is not clean. There's a bunch of these. I'm not going to show you all these. My goodness, we could be here an hour just looking at stickers. But they are really cute. Oop. And I'm trying to stick them back in here when I get through showing them to you. Oh, that's cute. And cups. Oh, these are the same thing, but you get quite a bit of these. I'm not going to show you all of them, but I mean... There's still bukus of them. I'm going to use these in coasters. Oh, and there's one left. And that's how they come. The little bag comes in this. Another one of those, oh, another one of those chains. I wish you could see the. They just really, they're. I, I love these chains. Oh my gosh, yes, I know. 
These are freshie molds, but I have bukus of them. I don't use them for freshies. I didn't even know what the freshies were when uh, I first started seeing these molds. You don't have to pour them as deep. You can. You can put a light in there. It's the truck with the Christmas tree. There you go. And I think that is it. All right. I hope you all enjoyed uh, the video. Um, if you want to link to any of the things that I showed, as always, just let me know and I will uh, reply back with the link for you. And um, if you can do me a favor and hit that thumbs up button, it's very important for all of us YouTubers. Um, and I'm hoping to be back in a couple of days. Uh, I, I actually have another um, Timu uh, package that's coming in tomorrow, so I may do another uh, Timu haul tomorrow. Uh, but I am hoping to be back in a couple of days with uh, my crafts again, and uh, I have missed it greatly. And um, uh, I know y'all don't ever see me without gloves, but um, you, you're going to be seeing me doubling up with my gloves now. And um, so with that, uh, I'm going to say I hope y'all have a fantastic uh, rest of the evening. Uh, it may be really late before this comes out. Uh, and uh, tomorrow's Wednesday. Uh, I'm hoping to have a video up with some kind of resin project on Thursday for y'all. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Oh, nope. It's not by yet. <laughs> I forgot to mention the the Facebook group. Um, the, the link to the Facebook group is in the description. We would love uh, to have you uh, join. Um, so come on over. Uh, just click the link, and if you can't find it in the description, just uh, mention it in the comments, and I'll send the link. And um, um, I would love to hear comments from you, so please leave some kind of comment down below, even if it's just to say, Hey, Beth! Um, I love reading the comments, and I do try to uh, respond to them just as soon as I see them. And um, uh, if you've not subscribed please do so. Um, our subscribing um, number keeps going up a little bit uh, every week, and uh, we will be doing another giveaway when I hit the 2,000, which, you know, um, I think I'm about 500 and something away from that, but, you know, it can happen really quickly. Um, or it may take some time, and that's okay, too. <laughs> But I did want to remind y'all about the Facebook group. Um, and uh, I've not been on it for a couple of days, but everybody there is so great. And they sort of just keep things going. And um, if you do uh, uh, go to Facebook and, and try to get in, you do have to answer three little questions. Uh, and if you don't, you know, some people miss that. And if you don't, I do send a, a message out saying, hey, can you answer the question so we can get you approved, you know. And um, But if I, I've not been on there as much the last couple of days, and I may not be tomorrow either. So if you go and it, it takes me a day, please be patient. Uh, I'm hoping by this weekend everything will be back to normal. And uh, I'll be on the flow, and I'll be doing my YouTube videos um, uh, at least once every other day anyway, and uh, uh, get back to uh, uh, normal. Yeah, well, as normal as life can be. Uh, <laughs> all right. Now, I am going to say bye, and thank you so much for watching. <laughs>